guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be kind of an outdoor decorate with me for fall along with a fall outdoor dining tablescape. So I was thinking about what fall foliage and decor that I wanted to use on the deck and I really just wanted to do something pretty but natural and also relatively inexpensive because I honestly wasn't looking to spend a lot of money on this. I just wanted to keep it pretty simple but something that would transition into the fall because a lot of my summer flowers are not really blooming anymore and I did want to add some color to the deck. I'm also going to be setting up an afternoon lunch out here for my mom's birthday and that was an extra reason that I wanted to set up the outdoor space a little bit and make it kind of bright and fun and colorful for fall. You might notice the empty window boxes on the deck and in past years I've had marigolds or cooler weather flowers like pansies in there but this year I decided to skip that and just kind of make a focal point statement piece arrangement outside the door here and of course I'm going to be tying those colors in with the fall tablescape that I'm doing as well. I kind of liked the idea of making a larger arrangement outside the door because it's something you can see when you come up onto the deck but also it's something that I can see just looking out my window on a regular basis it's right out here by the door and it's just something that I can enjoy throughout the day as well. My favorite part of decorating outdoors with florals has to be the shopping process itself. I love walking around the gardens of a plant nursery or even the garden center just at like Lowe's or Home Depot and just enjoying all the beautiful foliage, flowers, plants. There's so many kinds, so many beautiful options. Whenever all the stars above are shining, then I know I ended up selecting yellow and orange mums for some bright colors. I was going to go with burgundy ones, but I ended up skipping the burgundy ones that I was really loving at first, and I decided to just replace that idea with some sweet potato vines. I wanted to bring in a little bit of a purple color and the sweet potato vines were actually so overgrown and tangled that the woman at the plant nursery said they were half off. So I ended up getting two huge vines for under $5 and that brought in the perfect like dark purpley color that I wanted to add. And then once I got home, I was actually thinking that since we're gonna be closing the pool shortly, I should also maybe make use of the plants that I have out in my planters by the pool and maybe dig those up and bring them up onto the deck and use them in my fall arrangements up here and transplant them onto the deck instead, especially as a way to get some extra purple and burgundy color hues mixed in. I liked the texture of this plant as well, and I felt like it added a nice accent and complement to the texture of the mums and just brought in some variety in color as well as shape, style, and texture. And since I didn't have planters that were in the staggered height sizes that I wanted, what I actually decided to do was keep one of the mums in the original container it was in. And then for more of a medium size height, I actually just placed a leftover plastic planter that I had under one of the mums. Kind of like a riser for it, you know, like you would use on a table. I love the staggered effect it provided. And it's kind of like what we do on our buffet tables sometimes, right? That's kind of what I was thinking when I was putting this together. I also got one of these tall orange celosia flower plants. The name comes from an ancient Greek word, I think um, meaning burning, and it refers to the flame-like flower heads on it. You might also know this plant for its other common name of coxcomb. I decided to cover the outlet area here by placing the flower here in front of it. And then since the tag on it kind of stuck out, um, but I didn't necessarily want to remove it because it had the name and care instructions on it. I found this really cute, fun fall ribbon in Dollar Tree and I could make a bow on it and just make this look really pretty out here. And then I ended up going back out another day for the mini pumpkins and the extra flowers and mums that I picked up for my tablescape. So for the tablescape, I'm starting with my white tablecloth. I love the spill-proof 
and stain resistant tablecloths. They are so easy to wash and so easy to clean. But for the table runner, I'm going to use a sheer orange curtain panel that I got pretty inexpensively last year on Amazon. Again, if I can find the links, I'll leave those down below for you. And this tablescape is going to be kind of like a twist on the tablescape that I did last year that had all the fruits and vegetables in it. I absolutely loved how that table turned out. And I will leave the link for that video down below if you missed it. But using that table as my inspiration, I decided to create something equally beautiful, but entirely different at the same time. So keeping with the shades of yellow, orange, and green in the mums, I brought in pumpkins, acorn squash, and also clementines, and even apples and peaches, which are just so fresh, sweet, and really represented fall to me. And who doesn't love putting together an edible tablescape that you can eat when you're finished enjoying the tablescape decor aspect of it, you know? I set this up multiple ways on my cake tower. I love this thing. I love that it's adjustable in height and it's clear so it doesn't really obstruct your view when you want to use it as a centerpiece. I used it Father's Day brunch, college graduation dessert tables. You guys know I've used it so many times and in so many different ways, but I wanted to give it even more height today. And to do that, I'm just going to be using this copper cake stand. I felt like the copper color would tie in really well with the color colors that I'm using here. I purchased this on clearance at Home Goods, and turning it upside down, the underside's actually like a velvety material, which coincidentally helped keep the cupcake tower in place on there. Honestly, I tried various arrangements here and everything was beautiful, except I really wanted to add my small pots of mums on the table as well, which is why I use the cake stand for added height there so the flowers could go below the cupcake tower because I had the fruits and stuff arranged on the cupcake tower. I wanted the flowers to still be able to fit on the table and kind of be below the fruit and vegetables that I was adding in. I decided to knot the orange curtain on the ends just to kind of tie up the ends and complete the look. And I opted to use the squash, pumpkins, and garlic at the ends of the table. And then layer the apples and oranges in the cupcake tower. So you can do this however you want. You can use whatever fruits or vegetables you might want to include in there. This was just what I kind of came up with with the fruits and vegetables that I had picked out for this table. I definitely could have used some purple or red grapes in here. I think that would have really completed the look, but I didn't have time to go back out for those and didn't really think of it at the time. So for today, I'm just going with what I have here, but if you're planning something similar, keep that in mind. If purple goes with it, don't hesitate to pick up some grapes that you can add in, or even figs or plums. That'd be a great way to bring in that purpley color tone as well. Also, I bought one of these really cool plants, which I decided later when I was setting this up that I should have actually bought four of them because how cool would they look under the cupcake tower cake stand here, kind of in between, leaning sideways so that the spray of Budding greenery comes out from under the cake stand part and kind of fills all in the sides here in between the flowers and below the fruit. So I think that would have looked really, really cool. The texture would have been amazing. However, these little plants were $6.99 each. And because I wasn't sure yet what I was gonna be doing with it and how I wanted to set this up, I only bought one at the time, thinking I would incorporate it into the centerpiece. But anyway, as I'm seeing this all come together, I think four of them would have looked absolutely amazing. So if you like the look of that and it fits into your budget, they can be planted in your yard afterward. You can use them to decorate around the house or given away as favors or gifts after your dinner or event is over. Since I only had one, I had to do something else and I went with a very budget friendly option Option of using a couple leaf garlands from Dollar Tree that I had left over from last year and I just kind of folded them up and they filled in the bottom pretty nicely under here. Ideally though I, I kind of feel like the color is a little too close between the leaves and the color of the fruits that I have in here, and I really would have liked to have the greenery instead. Either way, it did turn out pretty nicely. And you guys, I could not resist ordering some of the faux wood charger plates that Dollar Tree has. You might have seen these, but as far as I know, they're only carrying them online at this point, so you have to order them. I got the silver gray faux wood ones as well, which I cannot wait to show you guys. In a future video, I will be showing you those. And then you know me with these classic white Corel dishes over here, and I'm placing these smaller leaf plates that I made on top. The colors are coming together so beautifully.
I'm using my gold flatware, and in addition to my water goblets, I'm using the champagne glasses for apple cider. I'll leave the link down below for how I painted these glasses, as well as for how to make these napkin rings for only about 50 cents each. The links for those videos will be down below. Thank you all so much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you did, please don't forget to give it a thumbs up. I hope you'll consider subscribing if you're new here, and I hope to see you all soon in the next one. Bye.